This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 794. Your seatbelt isn't the only thing you should be putting on in the car this summer by Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler of boxerwalkler.com. And I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, happy Thursday and happy August. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I act as your narrator of the best health, nutrition, and fitness blogs for free. And then on Fridays, I answer your questions right here on the show. Now, I have a new author for you today, but before we get to it, a big thanks to Carbona for their support. Carbona is a household brand that's been helping people to keep their homes clean since 1908. Their wide range of cleaning solutions will get you results each and every time. As an Optimal Health Daily listener, use code OHD at Carbona.com to save 20%. That's C-A-R-B-O-N-A dot com and code OHD for 20% off. Now, as I mentioned, we have a new author on the show today. Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler, MD, is an eye surgeon that has done over 270 scientific presentations at medical conferences since 1995. He's done a TEDx talk. He's also an author and founder of a nonprofit and lots more. You can come by his site for a lot more info. That's linked in this episode's description. And a big thank you to Dr. Brian and his team for letting us share his content. And with that, I'm super excited to share what Dr. Brian has to say, so let's get right to it and start optimizing your life. Your seatbelt isn't the only thing you should be putting on in the car this summer by Dr. Brian Boxer Walkler of boxerwalkler.com. The scorching summer sun is beating down on folks across the country, and we are all at risk for harmful UV radiation in one unsuspecting location that you probably always thought provided a domain of safety. Most people already know that keeping sunscreen applied and wearing protective sunglasses can prevent serious health problems from forming down the road for you and your family, whether you're at the beach with your family, going for an afternoon jog, or just having a nice picnic in the park. What will likely surprise you is that behind the car windows, people's fortress of solitude, where millions of drivers feel comfortable applying makeup, shaving, eating, sipping lattes, and numerous other strange activities, affords little protection from the sun. Yes, the front windshield provides great protection, usually shielding you and your passengers from 96% of the radiation hitting your car on any given day. However, I recently discovered that the side windows of many popular vehicles only provide an average of 71% protection, a shockingly low figure that poses long-term UV risk even to children riding in the car. UV exposure is cumulative over a lifetime, like most other diseases. If you are a parent and are aware that children having junk food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is not healthy for the long term, then being aware of their UV exposure in the car is no different. This car window UV revelation came after stumbling upon a 2010 study that found that skin cancer, including melanoma, occurs much more frequently on the left side of the face and the body than the right. As an ophthalmologist, I know that cataracts also form more often in the left eye than the right. While I pondered this correlation and the fact that UV radiation is one of the main causes of both skin cancer and cataracts, it suddenly struck me that perhaps during our seemingly endless daily commutes and summer road trips, that the left side of our body is being exposed to much higher levels of radiation than the right. Armed with a portable UV reader, my inquisitive eight-year-old daughter and I spent a sweat-dripping-down-our-foreheads afternoon trudging across several car dealerships in Los Angeles, testing how much radiation was getting through over 30 different car side and front windows. The car salespeople were very accommodating, and I think it was because we weren't kicking the tires, as they say. We tested various makes and models from a range of different years of production. What we found was unanticipated, as some of the most expensive models unexpectedly provided the lowest protection of all the cars tested. For instance, one high-end model with factory tinting only blocked 55% of the radiation coming through the side window despite excellent front windshield protection. As a frequent commuter and lover of the road, admittedly, I'm a 1970s muscle car fan, I knew that I had to make a few changes to stay safe. I've compiled four key tips that I now follow in the hopes that you'll remember that a seatbelt isn't the only thing you should be putting on in the car this summer. One, put on sunscreen for driving. I recommend putting on no less than SPF 30 and reapplying it every two hours should you have a long drive ahead of you. 
Make sure to apply it 15 minutes before getting into the car and even consider making application a part of your daily routine. I also advise using a lotion as opposed to a spray because it's easier to make sure you haven't missed any hard to reach spots on your skin. Using a spray in the car can also get a little messy too. No one is fond of a sticky steering wheel. Two, put on wraparound sunglasses. A great rule of thumb to remember when thinking about sunglasses is that more expensive does not equal better. And usually the most fashionable styles may not provide the best protection. By wearing large wraparound sunglasses, you're blocking the radiation from getting in through the sides of the glasses, which can eventually cause cataracts, wrinkles, sunspots, or even cancer. Don't forget to only wear sunglasses that clearly state they have 100% UV protection. Kids need to protect their eyes with sunglasses too. I battled with one of my daughters on this point, but thankfully dad prevailed. Three, put on a clear UV film. On your car's side windows, that is. Apply a clear UV film to the side windows of your car, as most do not provide good protection from UV radiation. Front windshields of all cars have excellent UV protection due to the UV blocking clear plastic film that is wedged between the two sheets of glass that make your windshield shatterproof. In other words, you do not need to worry about the windshield. By using a clear UV film, you won't run the risk of getting a ticket for illegal tinting. Remember that just because your car comes with factory tinting doesn't mean that it's actually doing a good job of protecting you from the sun. If your windows are already tinted, consider applying an additional clear UV film to be certain. That clear UV film might save you piles of money years from now by avoiding cosmetic skin treatments like IPL and chemical peels for skin pummeled by the sun. And lastly, tip number four, have a super summer. You just listened to the post titled, Your Seatbelt Isn't the Only Thing You Should Be Putting On in the Car This Summer by Dr. Brian Boxer-Walkler of boxerwalkler.com. A big thank you again to Dr. Brian. Oh, and this article was actually featured on huffpost.com. And we've linked this article in this episode's description. And a big thanks to Carbona for their support. It's wonderful to come home daily to a clean and stain-free home. And sometimes you need a bit of help maintaining that sparkly cleanliness in your living space. Q Carbona, a household brand that's been around since 1908. When I heard about Carbona's stain devils, it opened my eyes to the science that goes behind removing a stain successfully. For example, if you have a wine stain, it wouldn't make sense to treat it with a formula that removes butter or greasy food because they're chemically different. Knowing this, Carbona created an entire range of stain removers for specific stain types. Genius, right? Start living your life unstained. Shop Carbona.com with code OHD for 20% off your order. That's C-A-R-B-O-N-A dot com with code OHD for 20% off your order. Happy cleaning. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. As a person that commutes a lot, I have a 120-mile daily commute. I completely understand the need to protect myself from this unintentional exposure to radiation. Well, UV radiation to be specific. Now, luckily, I do wear wraparound sunglasses, but honestly, it wasn't because I was trying to protect my eyes. They just happened to look better on my face, believe it or not. So I lucked out there. And I actually do have... UV protection on my driver's side window, so I'm saved there as well. But I love the idea of putting on sunscreen for driving. That's something that I never thought about. Because it's true, we do think of our cars as sort of our fortress of solitude, and we think we're protected against most elements. But when I think about it, I often will open the window, and I'll find myself resting my arm on the driver's side door. Well, now it's being exposed to the sun. That's not going to be a good thing over the long term. And really, when we look at what most dermatologists recommend, they say that most people should be wearing sunscreen every day, even if it's 15 SPF. Wear some sunscreen every day. Those areas that are particularly exposed to sunlight doesn't have to be your entire body, but think arms and face, particularly the nose, the cheeks, and don't forget the back of the neck and your ears. Be sure to apply sunscreen to the ears. Oh, and most recently, the FDA here in the US, the Food and Drug Administration, says that find a sunscreen that has at least a 30 SPF and contains titanium and zinc oxides. What they're finding is titanium and zinc 
truly offer the most protection from damaging UV rays. The Environmental Working Group, or EWG, actually created a list of sunscreens that are safe for the environment and contain zinc and titanium. So that's a great resource if you're looking to purchase some new sunscreen. All right, that'll do it from me for today. Thank you, as always, for subscribing and for being here every day. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for our usual Friday Q&A and where your optimal life awaits.